Hi, I'm Maggie with the Wanderland Travelers, and today I'm going to show you some of the things that we did to improve our dinette seating to make it more comfortable and more functional for us. When we first got the RV, we were pretty dissatisfied with how uncomfortable the dinette cushions were. And a big, big part of that was because it was these super soft springs as the base and so you'd sit on this thing for 20 minutes and you'd have no support for your back um, so it became very uncomfortable and at first I was just going to put new foam I thought the problem was the foam but at the craft store I tested the four inch foam and it felt a lot softer than these. I brought the cushion with me to the craft store. We decided that putting a board under it would be a good first step. So these boards that we got happened to be the perfect width and we just needed to cut the length on them. And that was the first thing we did to make the seats more comfortable. So this board just rests perfectly here and Another thing that we disliked about the dinette cushions is that the bottom one was always slipping out. And they have Velcro pieces on the back that hold it in a little, but even when those are connected, they this will still slide out like three inches beyond. We just got this trim and stained it, used some brackets to strengthen it, and it works beautifully. We do not have any issue. We did drill some holes so that we can zip tie it to these if we want, but for the time being, it's a little nicer to be able to remove that if we want it. And so if it does happen to slide out, which it's not very prone to doing because it's heavier, um, it's just really easy to push back in. So we put the board on, we put the trim on, and then the last thing that we did, um, there was a piece that went on top of here covered in this same fabric and the only way for this back cushion to fit on there was to shove it and squeeze it underneath it. And that got to be kind of annoying to always be doing. And it was a little weird now that we painted the cushions and the cushions are a little more stiff. So we found this trim also at Home Depot type place. Happened to be the perfect width. We just cut it to length, glued it on, um, used some vice grips to hold it down and that was that and so putting putting that trim on there really gives it a nice finished look the color is really dang close we're pretty happy about it and here's how it looks with the cushion in there for us all of this made a huge difference in <laughs> being able to enjoy and appreciate our our dinette seating so and of course i painted it and you can find that how-to video on our repairs and renovations playlist.